Okay, the purpose of this video is just to give you an introduction to our new iOS uh, app version 2, which is iOS 7 compatible, uh, iPad compatible, has been changed the styling to match that as well. I'll just quickly run through some of the features and let you know how everything works. I've got this running on the simulator on Xcode and I will show you it on iPad later on in the video as well. Um, I'll just run through the functionality of the app. Uh, up in the top right you have the About button which loads up the text from your About page which you change at the back end of your GeoTheme. Uh, you've got the version as well which does change from the code strings in Xcode. You've got favourites, places, events, blogs, location and account settings. Uh, what you'll notice different from version 1 is we have the three place event and blog buttons here instead of the single browse button, uh, which a few people have mentioned would be better and we agreed. Um, let's start off with account setting then. I'm logged in with just a testing account. You can sign up, log out, connect with Facebook and you've got the location thing. Same, same menu here apart from what you might notice is new is the search box which will search through your cities. A few members had mentioned when they've got thousands and thousands of cities so you can, you can have to spend a minute or two scrolling through the amount of cities. Um, we still only have cities here, even though GeoTheme has neighbourhoods, regions, countries, this still only pulls the city information here, um, which is, you should know that before you buy the iOS app. Still have the nearest button, which should locate you to the nearest city, which it thinks obviously we're in everywhere city. It's not taking a real location because it's running off the simulator. Otherwise, we'd be here. Um, that's location setting. Blog just shows you your blog post from your website. Um, the featured image in the back end is used for your images here, and as usual, you can look at the text and comment on things. Um, right, let's just go into places. We know what events are as well. We'll go into places, look at some of the new features. You can obviously look at the map view, scroll through your categories, tells you how many you've got in your categories. Go into attractions. Uh, again, you can go to the map here, and um, scroll down, load some more here. You have the sort options, which you can sort by rating, comments or nearest. So if we sort that by rating, we get the highest rated first, sorted by comments would get the amount, number of comments uh, first, then by nearest it would sort it by closest distance to you if you've shared your location. Now this thinks we're in San Francisco, Apple's headquarters, so that'll be the distances we're getting from here to there. We also have this search bar here where you can search for um, listings as well, you just cancel that to clear it and we also have subcategories if you go into things like that. Um, let's look at some of the new features you can tell that the details page has been uh, revamped a wee little bit, you no longer have the wee small icon here, we've just got the simple clean title, the rating we've got the address, we've got a get direct directions button which will take you to Google Directions and you can choose if you want walking or driving, public transport etc. Um, tap one of the images to flip through the gallery as well. Um, then we have the description here and we have some new little icons here to represent the website, uh, email address, Facebook, Twitter, phone number and the opening times. If you want to call them just click on the number which doesn't work in the simulator. Um, if you want the opening times, if it's cut off a little bit, just click on it and it'll open up full full view. And scroll down a bit here, and you'll notice this uh, new button here, share, which if you're logged in with your Facebook account, you'll be able to post to Facebook, let, write a little description, say where you want it shared with, and that, that'll be that. It's a nice new feature. Actually, Apple made us uh, add that in to have more functionality for using the 
connect with Facebook and uh, works out best for everyone. We have the map button here which just obviously shows the listing on a map. You can zoom in and out, show satellite, hybrid, um, this GPS bar if it's red means you have no GPS, if it's green means you have good GPS signal etc. If we go back here we can look at the comments that have been left, the star rating, we can tell if somebody's left a image with their review. Um, obviously got the ad review, click how many stars you want to give the place, uh, type in your review, add an image if you want, um, don't have any photos on the simulator. Uh, report this, is just so you can report any, any problems with uh, the listing, so comments, spam, images, language, choose the reason, then you can provide a wee explanation of why you're reporting it. Um, Obviously, the add to favorites and the add to favorites when you add something to favorites will cache it offline. So, if you're making a city guide, for example, somebody's visiting a new city, a foreign city, and um, they don't maybe have internet access or they don't have internet access on their iPad, the everything will be cached, all the information. So, they'll be able to go back to that listing, be able to find the phone number for it, email address. The, look at the map, look at the pictures, to maybe look at the outside of it and be able to find it quicker. Um, let's look at a few test listings here. Let's look at another listing. Um, oh, there's I've left an image here. I'll show you, you can leave an image in the comments. And it tells you the date and things like that. Now one of my favourite features of the new app is the push push messaging service which basically lets you send a push message to all your users, individual users or users that have selected a particular city. Um, the purpose of this you can update them, there's a new blog post, um, basically pretty much anything you can send them to a place listing, an event listing or a blog listing. Um, and I will demonstrate that shortly. I just wanted to show you, obviously, the special offer section on the website also shows up in the app. And then they also have any custom fields as well um, that you've added in. Um, I will just load up a test screen just to show you the push messaging service from the back end. Okay, this is uh, me using AirPlay to capture the screen of my iPad. So I can demonstrate push messaging to you. So it might be a little bit jumpy um, if you notice it in here. Let's just open up the app. Um, the app on iPad is very, very, very similar. Um, you just have the map, the main map on the right hand side. And apart from that, everything else is pretty much the same, so I won't bother going through it again. So let's look at the back end of Geotheme, the new page, which is the push notifications page. Let me drag this screen over. Okay this is the back end of Geotheme. Um, looking at the push notifications page. Uh, start off with what you have to do first is get your certificate which will show you how to do in our tutorial. You upload your certificate, uh, you put in the password for the certificate, you can put it into production or sandbox if you're just testing. You've got your sent messages here and this is where you send your new messages. So, for example, there has been a new blog posted. Then we'd select who you want to send it to. You can select everyone that's using your app, uh, everyone in one city. So if a person selected Philadelphia, it'll only send it to people who are in Philadelphia. Or you can do a single user. Now I'll just uh, do a single user just now. Um, so I'm not annoying everyone. Um, single user. I'll blur these out later so you can't find out all the email addresses of people. Open the app at. You can open the app at place, event, or blog. 
uh, since we're notifying them of new blog posts, let's just open a blog post. Let's just choose the first one. Send that. Okay. Let's see. I'm just going to come up here. Um, okay, here's the push notification. And if we open this push notification, there's been a new blog posted. Let's open it up. It will open up GeoTheme. It will take you to the blog. And oops, everyone's happy. Let's go back to this. Let's do another message. Um, there has been a new place added. In fact, let's do something different. Um, there is an event on in Glasgow tonight. Why not go? And then you could send that to everyone in a specific city. You could send it to everyone in Glasgow. Get it to open at an event. And you could send that. I don't want to send it to everybody in Glasgow just now. Um, I'll send it to a single user again. Just my test account. And let's send that. There's an event on in Glasgow tonight, why not go? Okay. Let's open that. And we can have a wee look at the event, check when the times are. And basically that's the app in a nutshell. We will be writing up tutorials to show you how to install it and get it up and running and submitted to the App Store very soon. We'll be doing that just now actually. And you'll be able to buy the iOS app from geotheme.com. If you have any questions, just let us know on the comments page about the app or we've got the contact form on our website as well. Thanks.